houses. There are two houses of Israel. There's the house of Judah, that is the Jewish people, and there's the house of Israel. The house of Israel comprises the ten tribes. And these uh, t uh, terms, the house of uh, Judah and the house of Israel, are found in the Hebrew Bible. They are found in the Bible. They are mentioned uh, quite often. Uh, historically, there were 12 tribes, and these 12 tribes split into two different sections. The uh, northern section, comprising 10 tribes, had its own kingdom, the kingdom of Israel, whereas the southern section, comprising Judah and Benjamin, Levi, and other tri and sections of the other tribes, became known as the kingdom of Judah. And uh, so there were two separate entities. And eventually the northern kingdom was taken away cap into captivity. All of its inhabitants were exiled by the Assyrians. They lost consciousness of their identity and eventually they moved to Western Europe. We have proven. We have proven where the lost tribes went to. We have proven that they went to Western Europe. And their descendants are now to be found amongst West European countries or in the offshoots of North America. That is the USA and Canada and also in Australia and New Zealand. And South Africa, that is where the lost in tribes are to be, according to the Bible. This is what the Bible shows. Even before the two, the twelve tribes split into two separate kingdoms, they existed uh, as separate entities. We often find the, the in the Bible we find references to Judah and Israel, as if Judah and Israel were were uh, separate entities, had separate uh, uh, a separate uh, 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 corpus. A separate, a separate uh, formulation of themselves even before they separated and anyone who's read the Bible knows this and this has uh, been proven as if to say that, that they from the very beginning they had a different tasks and different uh, roles to play and uh, this is uh, at all events this is what the Bible says and this is what history uh, shows us so ten tribes were separated from the house from Judah and they became a separate uh, kingdom and they were taken away and they moved to Western Europe. And other people also um, have similar ideas uh, as to ours, similar beliefs as to ours, although they don't have the, exactly the same proofs or the same uh, convictions. But they uh, also uh, think along these lines. And they have um, come up with what is known as the Two House Doctrine. The Two House Doctrine is something that we have been asked about. To us, doctrine it actually is a, could say, a Christian concept, but it is uh, foreshadowed, predominated in the Bible. It exists in the Bible in some form or other. What exactly it means in modern terms, in the terms of these uh, Christian groups, is not certain. It seems to vary from one uh, group to another, from one person to another. Each, every, and everyone has their own. Uh, understanding of it we 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 are not Christians we are Jewish but we uh, present our teachings in a way that we hope is acceptable to anyone who believes in the Bible whether they're Jewish or non-Jewish because it, a message has to go out and a message goes out to non-Jews as much as to Jews or even more so and a message goes out to, to the Jew, Joseph that is the ten tribes because it's the most important at present that the ten tribes know who they are and that they have this knowledge brought home to them and we uh, see it as saying that, that there are two different sections one that is the Jews one house is the house of Judah who have their own tasks and the other house is the house of Joseph who also have their own tasks and the two tasks are separate they are separate entity, entities they uh, had two houses of two separate groups each has their own individual tasks and eventually they will um, they will uh, unify they will come together as predicted in the Bible in Ezekiel 37 uh, Isaiah 11 and uh, other and other prophecies and uh, uh, the this is what we understand would like uh, um, understand the two hairs concept of two houses to be understood to me and uh, it would seem that uh, different Christian groups or different other groups also go along with this but they have variations upon it some of them uh, emphasize the role of Christianity in Joseph also tend to identify the two house doctrine with the so-called Ephraimite movement, that is Ephraimites who, uh, who believe that they are descend from the ten tribes of Israel, uh, and they also believe in their version of the two house theory, and uh, they are there who are uh, in effect Christians.
uh, and uh, they have their own their, their own idiosyncrasies. There's also a tendency to imply that all Ephra all Ephraimites or believing Christians are automatically part of the house of Joseph. In other words, they seem to, to say that anyone who believes in Christianity or their own version of Christianity is automatically part of the house of Joseph, part of the ten tribes. And this is, uh, we do not agree with this, we are very reserved about this, but from our point of view, from our understanding of the Bible, someone who belongs to the ten tribes someone who is descended of Israel, a physical descendant of Israelites, or at the very least someone who identifies with physical descendants of Israel. As it says in Ezekiel 47 that anyone that in the end times uh, when the land of Israel stretching from the Nile to the Euphrates will be divided up amongst the tribes, someone who is not a descendant of Israel but uh, has lived amongst the Israelite tribes, will be given a portion alongside the tribe that he dwells amongst. So this too, this too is the concept of a, of a convert or someone who comes in from outside the resident stranger and, and is assimilated and identifies with Israelite peoples. So nevertheless, the basic idea of who belongs to the tribes of Israel is a physical idea. It, con it emphasizes physical descent. And uh, so, and this is what, this is the basic, this is the, the nitty gritty, this is the ABC, this is the basic point that we would want to have emphasized. The Lost Ten Tribes are physically, a uh, physical group of people amongst Western nations. And they have, according to the Bible, they have their own destiny to play. And this destiny will be played out alongside, parallel to that of Judah, and eventually the Ten Tribes and the Judah, that is the Jewish people, will reunite with each other, will come together once again and be one people. And uh, this is, is, in our idea, in our uh, understanding, this is what should be emphasized. As for the Two House Doctrine, it is a, it's a doctrine, that is what it is, it's a doctrine, it's a form of uh, declaration. It is a proposal uh, of a, a design to enable the people to have a comprehensive understanding of reality while taking into account the existence of the Ten Tribes in the West. Most people who believe in the, ten, in the Two House Doctrine or advocate the Two House Doctrine agree with us that the ten, how, Two Tribes are in the West. And they use this idea of the Two House Doctrine to formulate it, to present their idea, to, to enable themselves to uh, uh, conceptually take it in, embody it in in their whole in their whole complex of 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 the world outlook, as if to say, in their whole outlook on life. The two house doctrine is is a means, a formulation to enable them to cope with it. Uh, but uh, we uh, we say, okay, fair enough. Do what you have to do uh, if, in order to accept the truth. Is this is a means, a tool that you use. Use it. However, this should not be taken as a priority. The idea of the two-house doctrine should not be a priority. First of all, the first thing that should be realized is the physical reality that the ten tribes are amongst Western peoples. The sense of the ten tribes of Israel are amongst Western peoples. Our own movement, the Hebrew nations, we prove that the ten tribes are amongst Western peoples. We bring physical proof, evidence. The evidence from the Bible, evidence from rabbinical sources, and ev evidence from secular sources, from history, archaeology, mythology, linguistics, from every pertinent field that might have something to say on the subject, we have been able to, to, to bring evidence and to show it, and prove it, the ten tribes are amongst Western peoples. And we want to um, uh, have this emphasized, to have this brought to the knowledge of others. Also, not only have we proven it, but also the way we have proven it, the, the sources we have used are also important in their own right. Uh, this is also significant that we have uh, uh, used the Bible, and we have used rabbinical sources and used secular sources, and we've shown how they all inter interrelate with each other, tied together, and we've been able to present them in a way that should not be offensive even to people who do not, uh, who are not, not Jewish, to non Jewish people uh, can accept what we present as we present it. And we, and we, and this way we are uh, doing something to war, to work towards the reconciliation of Judah, that is the Jews, and Joseph and the ten tribes of Israel. And this is significant. This is, in itself is of value. 
Uh, bottom line is that we have proven, and we continue to re through research to prove that the ten tribes are amongst Western peoples, and this is what needs to be emphasised. The ten tribes are amongst Western peoples. They are physical descendants of the tribes of Israel, and they are physically there. And that this fact needs to be known, it needs to become accepted. And then after, after this has been done, then all kinds of theories and explanations and uh, doctrines may be proposed, may be argued, may be, placed, may be put forward in order to explain it, in order to put it in the, in the necessary context, in order to theorize about it. But first of all, the basic facts have to be accepted, they have to be made known. And that is what we emphasize and that we, is what we think should be prioritized, first of all, the fact that the Ten Tribes are amongst Western peoples should be made known and the, the proofs concerning it should be accepted and after that everything else may be talked about. In our own organisation, our own organisation, Brit and Hebrew Nations, this is part of our three of our three R's, our three major principles. And the three major principles of our movement, Brit and Hebrew Nations, are research, proving where the lost Ten Tribes are, clarifying the matter and confirming it, bringing more and more evidence and, and working out all the details surrounding it. And after that revelation, bringing this knowledge, bringing the results of our research to the attention, to the recognition of the general public. And after that, or alongside that, working towards the reconciliation of the Jewish people of Judah with Joseph, with the Ten Tribes of Israel. These are our three major principles, research, re research, researching the subject, research, revelation, reconciliation, research, revelation, reconciliation. These are the three R's of Brit Am Hebrew nations and this is what emphasis should be put upon. And uh, this is what should be prioritized. The fact that the ten tribes are physically amongst Western nations and that this is the truth and this is what should be uh, acknowledged by everyone or at least acknowledged by a significant number of people at an academic level or, a, or reach the stage of acknowledgement that is optimum, that, that, that is possible at least. Be uh, more up there in the public conscious, consciousness concerning this truth and then after that all other considerations can be worked out and can, may be talked about. The priority should be making this knowledge known and having it accepted and uh, this is what we are doing and we should be uh, supported in this, we should be helped to do that and we are not finding this support, at least not to a sufficient degree to enable us to function as we need to function. And that people should realise that people, anyone who believes in lost centropes or accepts our proofs or even they don't accept our proofs but they think there might be something in what we say, check it out, prove it to yourselves and then after that, help us, help us along the, along the way, help us to promote it, to do this work. Because this is work is what has to be done and this is what in our, according to our understanding, should be the first issue to be put forward and uh, the, first, the first course to be promoted and to be worked for and supported. May God of Israel bless all of you. Thank you.